So once the, the car has been decided and a lot of uh, research actually goes into uh, the, the next step where you're looking mm -hmm. at, um, you're, you're finding different photos for the car, the 3D for the car, um, does the car feature different rims, for example? Does it have variants? When it comes to the creation of a die cast, uh, especially 64 yeah. scale, uh, what is the general top-down like setup? How does it begin? Okay, you let's just say you've already decided, all right, we're going to make this uh, Toyota Supra die cast. What happens yeah. next after that? So once the, the car has been decided and a lot of uh, research actually goes into uh, the, the next step where you're looking mm -hmm. at, um, you're, you're finding different photos for the car, the 3D for the car. Um, does the car feature uh, different different rims, for example? Does it have variants? Like, oh, does it have a rear wing? Does it have a front splitter? Does it have side skirts? Uh, so there could be there could be a lot of different variations to that to that body shape. So that we have to kind of find all those things, um, and then it goes into to to, to the illustration. So. If you already have a 3D, then you 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 work it um, uh, back into the scale that you need it to be. That the, you know, from, in, in our case, a 64 scale, yep. and then yep. you create the different sort of variations with the different rims, things like that. Sure. Um, and then we we do a printout of that, uh, a 3D printout, uh, just to look at the shape, the assembly uh, part of it. Does it does it does this and this part fit together? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Once that's done, then you go to the metal uh, tooling. Also, the plastic tooling, making the but then that's where the, the, the investment comes for for die cast at least. Um, mm -hmm. the, the tooling mm -hmm. comes, and then you also look yep. at it. Uh, there could be things that you need to modify the fitting and all those things. Then you put in the the, the color decorations, um, and that's what we call the uh, the decorated sample. And that's when you see uh, usually when the announcements are made where, oh, this is the new tooling, it has the colors in it. Mm -hmm. um, it it's mm -hmm. not the final sample. It still has some, maybe a little bit of flaws in it. And then pre-order announcements. Um, pre announcements. Everybody yeah. kind of, yeah, pre-order, make your orders. Sure. And then, sure. and then we, and they, we produce it. And then, um, you know, usually a, a month and a half, two months, three months later, then the car is is released. So that's basically the the journey that a, a model would go through uh, to before hitting the market.